You, you okay? Were you there? No, I'm okay. Huh? I'm fine. Okay, uh, they, they make... Let's go back. Come on, we gotta go. All right. Come on. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to After News Delight. Let's talk about this uh, situation with Severide. This is a very interesting... And, and, uh, I forgot I did need to make a video on this because it's tied into what the cliffhanger was at the end where uh, they kind of learned that someone from 51 was actually coming after them. Um, Chief Bowden had re re relayed the news over to Violet when she was talking to Carver. And so, Severa had this case with this girl named Maya where her brother was, uh, in, I think he was in a gang with a drug dealer, something like that. And there was a, uh, so it, it, it started out with a fire and, it, and Kelly believes it came from some electrical stuff because it was an old building. Uh, there was some old wiring or whatever and it caused a fire. But the fire never reached upstairs, right? So there was some money that the girl was uh, keeping because of her brother who was in jail, right? He was at the county. No, he was at the county. And uh, so she had, I think she, she confirmed it was actually $100,000 or something like that. And a lot of it, the half of it was missing. So uh, Kelly went over to the house a little late, later that night to go look for it because she had revealed where the other half of it was. I think it was like upstairs in a vent or something like that. And there was two gang, gang members that was over there and they confronted Kelly about it. But then they saw a fire truck and they went away. Um... Because they were trying to find out why Kelly was over there. He was trying to hide the fact that that maybe the money was out there. But he was trying to tell them like oh, all of it was burnt up. Earlier in the episode, there was two cops that kind of sort of like they was indirectly accusing both Bowden and Kelly of keeping the money in the truck. Right. The money that they were looking for because they gave him the other stash. But then, like, the other bag, they, they were looking for the other bags that they thought was in there. And they were like, hey, go check. So, there was a problem throughout the episode with the police and the fire department. That was kind of parallel with Ritter while he was trying to hide his boyfriend, who's actually a cop. And so, I went over that in the first video that I did for the week on fire, by the way, if y'all want to check that one out. But, anyways, to wrap this thing up, so Maya, you know, she's a tough girl or whatever. So, they actually found her on the street in a... Uh, they shot her like I showed you at the beginning of the episode like they was had a shooter and it was a drive-by shooting but she you know Kelly told her hat and she ducked down uh, under the car and very weirdly like her facial expression was not like somebody who almost got shot at like she 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 was acting a little bit weird throughout the episode to me but she I don't know maybe that was just a tough exterior she had I don't know but <laughs> it was kind of crazy man you almost got shot and that was her reaction <laughs> but um but yeah, so they, they kept Maya over there at the fire station because she had nowhere else to go. Her grandmother was still at uh, Med. Um, and her grandmother revealed that she actually knew about the situation with the money too. So she revealed that to Kelly later in the episode when she was at Med. And she said she'd been trying to get them out of Chicago. And I think something, I think the update at the end was that she did get them out of there because police relayed to Kelly that they were gone. Like they were looking for them, but they were gone. And so Kelly didn't know about it. He was in shock. And uh, so the situation is weird, right? And then what I'm about to report in in the last video I'm going to do this week was that she Bowden relayed some news over to Violet because she had some problems with her partner uh, named Lennox, the new guy. And uh, she relayed that Lennox actually sent out a complaint or whatever. And it included Kelly's. Well, not directly Kelly, but them keeping a girl at the fire. I guess they, I guess they're not allowed to do that. So Chief Robinson seems to be in the mode where she's trying to take down all the fifty one, not just Violet. So it's a very interesting storyline because originally we thought Chief Robinson was just coming at the Violet, but now she's coming after the whole fifty one. And the fact that she reported on, she had Lennox report on, or maybe Lennox just did that himself. About the little girl. So that's why I was saying what I was saying about uh, Violet needed to be a little bit more calmer with Lennox because she don't know what this man might fucking do later on. And now the whole firehouse is paying for it. So we're going to see about that. I think it was very interesting. Now, we didn't have any stellar ride scenes in the episode, uh, scenes in the episode which was kind of weird. And see, I didn't, I didn't, at least I didn't see any. I might have I skipped, but if y'all saw any, I didn't see any in this episode. But we are going to talk about Stella in the next video because uh, she did have a good talk with Violet. 
about the whole male partner situation thing. So let's get to that next. Go ahead and give this video a like, share, subscribe, y'all. Thank y'all for watching this one. After news to like.